So Dave, one of the things that uh, I liked about uh, the ramp system is this cover that you've built. And, uh, I know that it always seems to me that I have more shavings or other you know, uh, stuff in, in the ramp and I end up spending a lot of time either brushing it out or I get lazy and I try to close it and, and uh, end up messing up the ramp. So what have you guys done here to solve that problem? Well, originally because, our, because of the thickness of our wall and the ramp is made out of the same material that the walls are, it left this big gap in here just just the way it had to be mm -hmm. and what we found is in the early years that this would get full of shavings and manure and it would freeze up and people would try to push up and eventually would spring the ramp so when we, we designed this plate just strictly to keep the material out of the spring assembly yeah. and as it is it worked out to be a tremendous benefit for especially for horses back and out because they tend to want to drag their feet and there's just nothing here to catch on yeah exactly well, it ended up it, being a nice safety feature it, as well it, it worked out to be a very nice safety feature yeah and does yeah. it does it contribute to any additional heaviness of the ramp or is no. it still you know well, the ramp, no, i guess not one-handed it's not so bad yeah, yeah we uh, we put a everything is stainless what is not aluminum on this trailer is stainless. So stainless steel springs, stainless steel rod, stainless steel uh, butterfly latches. Uh, just virtually no rust, other than the hitch on the trailer and the and the axle. That's the only thing to steal in here. And these look like nice heavy-duty uh, um, holders in here or latches as well. Right. We tried. We we make these longer. We mill these ourselves. Mm -hmm. We make these longer because if you make them short. These horses tend to want to stand on the back doors all the time or stand on the ramp. And there's a lot of pressure there. And if you don't get a lot of coverage on it, it'll tend to want to bend a ramp. Now, it will not bend this ramp. Yeah. But we just did that as a safety feature. The original designer of this trailer, he, he believed in overbuilding everything. And we've stuck with that theory. I think that's the right way to go. Yeah, it is. This is a pretty interesting design. I, I, I actually haven't seen one of these before. What's the what's the uh, the horse capacity here? This is a, a three horse. It's a, it's what we call a two plus one. Mm -hmm. So you actually stand two horses back in here. If you want to carry the third one or a couple of ponies, you can do that up front. Golf cart, shaving, sure. bales of hay. It just gives you that extra capacity. Or you can take this easily. All comes out and it makes two box stalls. Oh, that's nice. So you can use it for for mares and babies. Oh, and sure, the, yeah. This, this trailer is probably one of the most versatile trailers we've built. And, and this is a little bit different than what I've seen. You've got sort of a strap system versus the versus the chain. <laughs> we, I feel like the chain always falls off or breaks, so what's the idea with the well, strapping? The, well, the chain tends to get rusty. We, we like the strapping. It's got the same, same strength as the chains that they use on them. Our thought is that if a horse ever gets hung up on this, you can always just cut the strap. Yeah. These, these are covered in leather. And we've actually changed just what we do. There's actually, if you look inside there, it's actually pool noodle material. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's a little smaller diameter than what we used to have, but uh, we've got far less damage with this, and it's got a lot more cushion to it. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So, Dave, the interior of the trailer is, is uh, in, in a lot of ways, engineered to be as functional as, as the exterior in the frame. Yep. Um, for example, you know, the, the uh, flatness of the wall cr creates some extra um, benefits to the, to the rubber. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah. Well, these, because the wall is so flat and so it does not flex, we contact cement this rubber on. We do not have to rivet it. Uh, rubber will tend to tear if it's, if it's riveted and gets pockets and a horse can catch a shoe on it and then he's, once he starts it, you know, it just rips. I think we've all had that. Yeah. The, uh, Another good feature in this trailer is we, we design our own window guards. Uh, typically there's a small bars that go into the, that buy, come with the window. Yeah. We find a horse, a tall horse, high, high hipped horse, he can hit these windows. We build our own window guards so that if a horse gets leaning into that, he can't hit the window and push the window out. Yeah. And then what about the lighting? The lighting is something we came up with because the way we do it, uh, we build the floor, we build the roof on a jig, and we cut these holes. Now, if a horse jumps up, these are these are shock mount lights. So all it does is just push the light up. That's the worst thing can happen to it. He's not going to clip it, and break the glass. It's just going to shove up inside. That's a, that's a pretty nice feature. Yeah. And then you were telling me earlier about um, about these partitions and and yeah. having had a real issue in my life recently with. Uh, partitions causing uh, a lot of damage and, and creating a lot of sharp edges. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what's different about these. Well, th this divider, as you can see, is quite a bit thicker than most. And this has a, a aluminum 
skin with a high density styrofoam core in it. And we put this on a vacuum table and draw it together and it slides up inside a channel here. Yeah. So if this gets struck, uh, you know, with a, with a hoof or the shoe or anything else, the jagged edge gets embedded into the styrofoam. Yeah. It, it, there's never, it doesn't poke through and have a big ragged edge sticking out on the other side. And that happens on, you know, it works both ways on it. Yeah. We've come up with a, a new design on some of these bigger, bigger trailers and for the bigger horses like you have, where this divider actually ends up being six, same height off the floor, but we make it six inches taller with the pad on it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, it's for those horses that it doesn't, it doesn't catch them in the hip so they can flip over it in case you get in an accident. It just makes them taller. Yeah, absolutely. And then, do you have different systems? Can you do a full floor or, a, or for example, yep. I, I very much like a, 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 soft, a soft partition yep. between, do you have all those options? Yeah, we have all those options. You can put a hanging divider mat in here, you can put a removal stud bottom on it, or you can put a solid stud bottom on it. Just whatever the customer wants. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So Dave, another thing that, that uh, always, I guess the right word is irritated me about mm -hmm. my other trailers is, is uh, over time, is, you know, especially if I had a camera system or something, I'd see over time sort of these drooping wires everywhere and, and it always worried me if something got spliced or splayed or, or messed up that you'd have a potential for a shock hazard. What's, I mean, obviously there are no wires in here, so where are they? The wires all run inside the roof extrusion. Uh, start from the front, run down this side, and go down the back post. Uh -huh and then they go across the bumper and back up again. We run the, the heavy seven wire cable through a majority of the trailer. We, we splice it off to do these individual lights. So, I, so, so if they're really protected like that, if there's a, I, I guess that makes it so that there's really not a problem, but is it easy to fix if there is? Yeah, I'll tell you, 90% of the time, any, any lay person can fix it. If you pull the bottom tail light out, every connection is right there. Right. And that, that is, and everything in this trailer is soldered in a heat shrink wrap, so there's no quick connects on it. There's no chance of corrosion in it. Every done, every splice is done you know, individually. There are a, you know a million different types of horse people, and and um, you know everybody needs something a little bit different. And and um, how many different configurations are there? Well, the configurations are infinite. We do we do straight loads. We do slant loads. We do. Two horses, we do 15 horses, yeah. and and combination of all. We do living quarters trailers. Yeah. We do a lot of work in the carriage business. We build trailers to haul <coughs> show wagons, and uh, in the draft horse business, yeah. it just the nice thing about the Jamco is they're all bay built. So when we start on a trailer, if it's your trailer and you want this and this, that trailer goes in that bay, and that's done. It's not on an assembly line where we got to pull it out and do a bunch of special stuff. Every trailer is individually bay built. Yeah, well, that does make it easy to get exactly what you need. It does. It, it makes it easy to get what you want, and you know, it's not, it's not an exorbitant charge. When we say custom, it scares most people. But no, every Jamco trailer is almost custom. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I have, uh, I have four children, and uh, they're often taking a nap, and and. Uh, the, uh, I am a, a, not a fan of the squeaky trailer door. I right. see that you've also solved my problem there. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we developed this problem this a long time ago. We've used this bullet hinge for for 20 years. We ended up that they would end, eventually all freeze up, even though we greased them before we put them on. So we ended up actually in the beginning we would run a drill through them and ream them out a little, a few thou, and we put a grease cert in them, and that just solved our problem. Yeah. We're, as you keep working a door and it starts to freeze up, it eventually breaks the extrusion. Yeah. So. Well, um, I'm, I'm glad we can let sleeping babies lie. Yeah, right. <laughs> Finally, I wish to thank Jamco for partnering with us on the Road to Recovery, which is my campaign to help improve trailer safety. And um, a portion of all proceeds uh, from Jamco trailer sales will go towards the Road to Recovery and, and in turn will go towards improving safety in horse trailers. I think Jamco is by far the best trailer for the worst day of your life and I think if you give it a chance you'll see the same.